Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh boy, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and every time I choose this room, you know what you're about to see. It's going to be a haul video. If you followed me on Instagram and Insta stories, you would have known that I was there in Istanbul with my sister for about a week and a half. I went there with Giri at first and then he was like, nah, you girls just chill. And I'm so happy that I went to Istanbul. It was my sister's third trip and my first trip. And I left my heart in Istanbul, you guys. You are so going to fall in love with it if this is your first time to Istanbul because this seems to be everyone's choice of destination since the weather is really good. And trust me, we went on the start of the holy month of Ramzan and still there was nothing that was affected. It wasn't like the Middle East where everything closes and you can't get anything to eat, drink, nothing. You get it all. So it is just that perfect destination, very safe for women. Weather was fantastic, especially this month and next month. But the people and the food, oh my Lord, and the shopping, because shopping is really cheap in Turkey. So I would suggest you to go with minimal stuff to Turkey so that you can bring a lot back home, especially household stuff, spices, makeup, because their own makeup brands, the affordable ones are really, really good. Okay. So I thought I might as well show you whatever I got. Like I said, fashion, I didn't shop as much. First of all, my sizes weren't available. There was sale everywhere, Mango, Zara, everything. And they've got some really good stuff. It's cheaper than what you would get in India and in the UK, surprisingly. When you go to the Grand Bazaar, which I recommend you must do all those touristy things, just take a bus tour. I highly recommend that bus tour because you can stop over, you can do everything out there, take your time, then catch the next bus to the next destination. You know, so please go check it out. I recommend the Egyptian Bazaar, the Spice Bazaar, and especially the Grand Bazaar. The Grand Bazaar is so unbelievable. It feels as if you've gone back to Jasmine and Aladdin time. But one thing that I have to tell you is bargaining is key. You really need to be hardcore, really ruthless. If you're Indian, then I can assure you that you will get the best price because we as Indians really know how to haggle. Okay. So that's in our DNA. So I picked up one in one of the stalls. I saw this, um, basically this table runner and I absolutely fell in love with this. This was, I would say around 15, 20 pounds. And even that Probably I, I spent a lot on this, okay? Because even 15, 20 pounds is a lot. I probably could have got it for 10 pounds. But I'm not someone who can haggle as much and Giri is pathetic. And table runner is basically what you put on the middle of your dining table and it looks really lovely. I love this whole turmeric, mustard, orange kind of a color that comes out of it. And I also love this gold pattern all over it. And it's nice and long with tassels at the end, yellow tassels. And it looks so beautiful when you put it on the table, put some golden plates, you know, some cutleries and flowers, and it's just going to make the table look a lot more richer. And the second one from the same store, from the same guy, I picked up this rug. It's basically like a square shaped, okay? And it is fantastic, you guys. Can you see the work on that, that gold, the detailing on that? And it looks very Indian. And that's what caught my attention because my living area, I'm trying to give that very desi vibe to an, you know, trying to get a little bit of home to this London place. It looks really nice when you put it on the center table or you can put it in the middle of your bed, wherever. People put this even on the ground like a carpet. And just look at that. It almost gives that very brocade kind of a feeling. And it looks so lovely on top of the table or anywhere that you want to place it, you know? So yeah, this was the other purchase. All right, so moving on, the second thing that I picked up were Turkish lamps. Now it's very, very expensive over here in the UK because each lamp comes up to around 45, 50 and above, depending on the size of it, but nothing is less than 40 pounds. And in Turkey, obviously in Istanbul, you get it for much cheaper if you go to one of the bazaar, especially the Grand Bazaar. There's so many small stalls which you can go and bargain. And I think I got each Turkish lamp for around I would say 10 pounds. It's got these beautiful red, yellow, all sort of, you know, warm colors that I really love. And I love this for the bookshelf. I've already placed it. I was so, uh, you know, impatient. I wanted everything, you guys, especially there was this beautiful Turkish chandelier, okay, which I fell in love with, but where do I put it on my head? In the beginning of Grand Bazaar, before you enter it, you find there's this other bazaar. Uh, it's basically, you get, 
all these fake stuff okay so there's a lot of fake gucci and fake christian dior before you enter the main bazaar all right but over there sometimes you find really nice bags that is made in turkey some really nice brocade shoes very much similar to our juthis and this again was so cheap i think this was around five pounds or something like i said you really need to bargain and i thought that this was such a pretty bag what i loved about it is this beautiful brocade details of blue and gold and it is so lovely and you get this in so many colors um it's just that perfect size when you're traveling it's like one of those box bags it's got a gold chain and they've got so many of this in different sizes and shapes so you don't have to go for this box shape you can go for the long evening bag type or you get wallets of the brocade you get jackets and you get um like I said, that juti type of shoes, like ballet shoes, and it is lovely. The last household stuff that I picked up from Grand Bazaar is this incredible looking tray. Okay, this is so stunning, you guys. I had to be very careful with the packaging and they packaged it and they, you know, sealed it so beautifully that nothing cracked. And what I loved about it is this gold plating with silver small little cups, okay? So I bought a lot of Turkish tea because Giri and I fell in love with the pomegranate and apple tea. And I just thought that it would be really nice when you have guests to serve something of this sort. Over here in the middle, you know, you have a small little plate to put your Turkish delight or any other sweets. And over here you have, you know, small little cups. Okay, so it is like this and you just put your tea in this and you just serve. And just look at the detailing in this. And it is so heavy and I was really worried about my baggage because I was only allowed 20 kgs. But somehow I managed because I really needed this. And obviously this came in my hand luggage, okay, because I didn't want it to break. Uh, there's oxidized silver, there's bronze, there's copper. Oh, they've got a variety of things because I think he was charging me around uh, 55 pounds. And I got this for 25 pounds, which also is a lot, but I wanted it that badly. So yeah, that was the last item of the household stuff. Then we went to the Spice Bazaar, which is very close to Sultan Ahmed. So you probably would be doing your side seeing Sultan Ahmed and uh, Hagia Sophia is one of those places that you have to go and visit because it is just simply stunning all right so while we went there we picked up a lot of spices so if you're a lazy person like me when it comes to cooking get those spices because it adds a little bit of something something and a lovely flavor to your cooking so one is this Turkish delight which you have to go and pick it up and not the one that is already packed and kept take the one that is pretty much fresh which is made then and there and they're selling it you know so it's basically Turkish delight is this candy type which uh, is coated with sugar and it is this chewy substance okay you might like it you might not like it like my mom and uh, giri doesn't like it as much as i do but it is like you know diabetes in a box okay you probably will die of sugar but they have another um i would say like a turkish delight which i got okay and they packed it up so this is what it looks like um i sorry i had to put it in an airtight container so this is what it looks like and it has pomegranate it has um Various are the fruits, it has rose essence, there's no sugar in it, it is pure organic honey. So if you are a bit of that health conscious person who's not like me, who just doesn't care of you know stuffing and applying sugar onto the face, then you should check this one out. This is lovely, my mum has been enjoying this so much more than the other one. In fact, she has finished half of it, okay? So the next thing that I got is what Turkey is famous for and that is baklava. It's this buttery pastry kind of substance uh, that is filled with butter and nuts and honey and all, all the goodness. It tastes so lovely to have just a small uh, piece of baklava and some hot tea. My God, it just makes your day. It, it's such a delight to eat, okay? I got pistachio baklava, some chocolate baklava and just plain baklava without any nuts because I'm not a big fan of nuts in my food. And then what we picked up is the quintessential candy. This is what I call the Turkish delight. Like I said, see, it's coated with sugar. And this is the rose one. Mm. Mm. And I just need this with my apple tea or pomegranate tea. And I'm very, very happy. Moving on from the store called Mevlana Bazaar. Basically, they are a store that sell carpet and drugs on the first floor. So if you want some really amazing silk carpets then go check it out because on their ground level they sell turkish delights and baklavas and various other spices 
I picked up saffron, okay? And this is saffron in the purest form. And you would know if you just take two threads of it and put it in hot water, you would see it turns completely yellow. And when they pack it for you, mind you, when they are taking it from wherever that they're taking, you know, when they show it to you and then they're packing it, ask them to remove the packet and test it out one more time. Because I have to say, that there are certain people, in fact majority, in the bazaar area that can totally rip you off if you are not paying attention. So I picked up these salts basically which Turkey is famous for. This is what it looks like. So when you look closely at it, it feels like crystals but what it does is if you are someone who suffers from migraine, headaches, joint pains, Guys, please go and get this one out. You just need one of those small little crystals. I can't explain. It's like um, one of those tiger balm basically in a crystal format and this is what Istanbul is very famous for it and put it in hot water like a bucket or bathtub of hot water and that is it my god it completely opened all of my senses when I was smelling it and this is not harmful because this is very natural and the other thing that we got for my mother-in-law because she loves jasmine so much from that same store we picked up this small little perfume okay so you get potent perfume uh, you know like oud and you get uh, jasmine you get various fragrances that is in an oil form so it's basically a small bottle and when I tell you how potent this one is it actually gave me a headache so I got this fragrance for her because she loves jasmine so the next thing we picked up for her is rose oil and that's another thing that Turkey is famous for uh, for their fragrances and pure potent oil you got rose oil cinnamon oil whatever oil that is there in the market turmeric oil you'll get all of that which rose oil is known for taking your marks your scars you know brightening the skin so we picked this one up for her as well now when it comes to spices okay um you'll get these spices look at the way that they wrap it okay there's no air in it so that it's going to last you for a long time i want you to go pick up the pasta spice ask them every stall has this okay so just pick up this pasta spice and when you make your pasta just at the end you sprinkle the spice right on top and the flavor that it gives you is incredible because it's got that dried herbs of oregano and parsley and rosemary plus it's got chili flakes and it's got garlic granules and it just makes the sauce taste so good and then take the uh, smoke it's called the smoky spice okay this it sounds like some spice girl group but trust me just get it's called the smoky spice and what this adds is that smoky paprika garlicky flavor to your meat or vegetables or to your pulao or whatever even to your soup you just add a bit of it and oh, oh my god this is incredible and there's another one and that is the meat spice and this meat spice is filled with chilies garlic ginger uh that typical turkish spice that you just add in your kebabs there's no meat granules in this you guys it is just basically all amazing spices and ingredients that just adds that flavor gives an additional flavor to your meat so don't worry even if you're vegetarian and you're buying this okay pomegranate tea which to me i absolutely love this more than the apple tea the apple tea definitely is amazing but you get it in boxes in various stores but please buy it fresh so there are two types of tea one is the pure unsweetened one like this where you just put in hot water let it soak in that hot water and then if you want you can add sugar and there's no extra coloring in it it, ha it has that very deep red kind of a color like a pomegranate and it's so nice it has that bit of sourness and at the same time a little tanginess it's really lovely i absolutely would highly recommend this but when you go to these small stores and they give you tea just for visually to be a lot more appealing the tea that they serve you especially the pomegranate one will be like a fuchsia pink and very very sweet and that is what giri loves giri's got a little bit of a sweet tooth right now and we picked this one up and this is how pink it is okay so it's got a bit of a colorant if you're not a big fan of it don't pick this one up before moving on to makeup i want to tell you about this uh, place that i discovered in in one of the markets i think it is the egyptian bazaar where i discovered this stall and he makes such amazing jewelry this one this is the earring that i got from this small little stall that sells the most beautiful jewelry out there and he has collaborated with a turkish jewelry designer and he sells that for a very good price i must have gotten this for around 
18 pounds or something i really bargained it was around 45 came down to 18 pounds and i'm going to leave his link in the description bar but what i like is i've always been a fan of the evil eye pendant and this is a earring look at that isn't that beautiful so instead of i have uh, evil eye rings and bracelets but i don't have a earring and i thought this was lovely and this was giri's gift to me because you never buy an evil eye and he saw this and he picked this one up oh man this is turning out to be such a long video and yeah the drugstore that you have to go and check it out is called watson's you'll see that everywhere it's small little drugstore like super drug and boots if you come to london you would understand what i'm trying to tell you it's like health and beauty in india okay so it's called watson's and from there i picked up uh, the butter bronzer this is physician's formula you don't get this even in the uk and it is available there i picked up another blush of mine and this is wet and wild color icon this is in the shade mulled wine in my best of wet and wild i told you how much i love this blush i got a backup and it is cheaper over there so please check out this Watson place because it has everything. It has the balm, it has L'Oreal, Maybelline, it has, uh, you know, Wet n Wild, it has Elf Cosmetics, it has Physician's Formula, it has everything. And it also has Essence. You have that also. So when I saw Essence, I was like so happy because guys, I absolutely love their mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess, one of my favorite affordable mascara that gives your that gives your lashes such volume and i also wanted to try this i love extreme volume mascara i think i've seen shreya talk about this and malvika also mentioned this so i wanted to give this one a shot so she'll let you know oh yeah from watson there's another thing that i picked up an international brand and that is from the balm cosmetics bahama mama bronzer one of my favorite cool tone bronzer which is incredible you guys i absolutely love it when i saw this i was in shock that it was available out there because they have closed shop in the uk the balm is no longer available only few stall uh, online stores have it and this is always sold out and when i saw this i was like yes i need you. And the three things that I highly recommend you going and checking out is Flomar. The second one is Golden Rose. Okay, those are Turkish brands. Flomar, Golden Rose and Pastel. Okay, and they have small little small little drug stores basically like Boots and Superdrug that sells Pastel. Pastels don't have Pastel or pastels, maybe it's pastels. They don't have their own store, but Flomar has and Golden Rose, and it is everywhere. They also have a Sephora. So any of my Sephora hungry people, go check it out as well. Okay, but they don't have too many makeup brands out there. One thing I can give, um, I would say an eight out of ten for a few, and ten out of ten for a few are their lipsticks. Oh my lord, their lipsticks are so good. So if you are a lipstick junkie, please check out Golden Rose specially and Floma. Just go check it out, okay? And from their drugstore, I, let me show you the hair products that I picked up. And this is the Urban Care Bloom Baby Bloom, okay? And this is their dry shampoo with keratin in it. And I love the smell of it. And I was like, wow, I need it. And that's one thing I noticed in the Istanbul India drugstore. There's so many hair products that actually is like perfume for your hair. And then I saw this again, Urban Care Shake and Repair 724 Repair Milk Treatment Mousse with Keratin Complex. So basically it's a milk treatment mousse that really conditions your hair. It's like a leave-in conditioner, which after I towel dry my hair, I take a handful of it and I just apply on the hair and I can see that it conditions my hair, it hydrates my hair strands. This is what the bottle looks like and this is what the Urban Bloom Baby Bloom dry shampoo looks like. Then from Watson, I got the shampoo called Live Clean, which is 98% uh, plant derived and it's free from sulfate and parabens and it's with argan oil and I got the shampoo and conditioner which I'm pretty excited to try because you guys know I'm all about chemical free shampoo and conditioners. Then another thing that I was told to pick up is Biomagic. This is the Keratin and Argan Oil Hair Color Cream. Okay, so this is their superior white coverage, uh, ammonia free, and this is their certified organic hair color. And when I saw this, I was like, yes. So I picked this one up actually for my mom because she likes using natural products on her hair. So I should give you an update of what I think about this, okay? So, and from their drugstore, I got this clean and simple cotton. This is the oil control facial mask. And this is specially formulated for spot and blemish prone skin. So my sister and I picked up this mask, but everybody told me to pick this one up. This is the flower rose mask sheet, okay? So you get these little rose petals. Very gimmicky, very 
much for the Instagram that's why I went and picked it up but hey this is cheap as well one pound one pound so I did a full face testing out all their best sellers at Floma and Golden Rose because you guys know I won't ask you to just go and pick up anything and if I'm picking something from this it's the best of the best okay so I uh, tried the ultimate eyes primer mascara and when I applied this and then put the mascara on top woo, my eyes my lashes were giving me that false lash effect then I wanted to try their newest baby and this is the high performance rotating volume mascara so I picked up pastel pro crush like I said look at the color of this it's like this ruby red blush which I'm so happy about because I don't have a blush of this color I'm looking forward to this this one which I really liked even my sister liked this is the Floma baked powder okay this is their compact powder which you can use it's basically a wet and dry one so you can use a wet sponge or a, a brush and it applies really well and at times you just don't even need a foundation with it but I got so many lipsticks which I am dying to show you these lipsticks. They, they are, these lipsticks, the formula is woof, incredible. So in my next video, for sure, otherwise this is going to be a really lengthy one, I'm going to apply all of the lipsticks that I have bought, which I'm recommending you to just blindly and go, go and get it because I tested all of it, especially the Golden Rose Soft Matte Lipstick. This is one of my favorite. That's what I've applied right now. It reminds me, this is in the shade 118 and it reminds me of Trendsetter from Huda Beauty. Much cheaper and oh, this formula, it feels like as if you have nothing on. It's not the longest wearing lipstick because it's a soft matte so it does transfer but it is super super comfortable and then I picked up a few of their nail polish um, you know the one that I'm wearing right now because I know I'll get a lot of questions in you know in regards to my nail polish and this is the Flomar jelly nail polish and this is in the shade plum it up okay and it's got that very nice brown plum color and it's got that jelly formula which dries down quickly and this liquid uh, <laughs> liquid highlighter which I picked up from Golden Rose which when I show you you're going to freak out it reminds me will you can you just see that okay so to end this long haul I just want to show you other things that I picked up which is not quintessential turkey brands but it is from mango okay and I picked up this earring which I thought was beautiful. It has that pebble effect to it and it's nice and long danglers. And the second one from Mango that I picked up is this um, belt bag or bum bag or whatever, <laughs> which I seem to be loving still. And when I wore this, I kid you not, I don't think I've seen this in the Mango store out here. When I showed this on my Instagram and Insta stories, so many of you wanted to know where I got this from. It's from Mango guys. If you're going to Turkey, go check it out because it's Especially the mango in Istiklal Street has plenty of it so before it sells out go check this one out yeah that's about it you guys I hope you really enjoyed watching this haul if you're planning to travel then you know what to go and get don't waste any more time and hopefully the makeup video that is coming up next will allow you to buy the right makeup stuff and let me know in the information bar what other videos you'd like to see I love reading your feedback and I shall talk to you very soon see you very soon bye for now